Well, we're here with international master Rusa Golatiani. Two and a half out of three, you're guaranteed to at least be tied for first after this round ends. But you've had a little bit of a hiatus from chess. You've played the two longest games the first two rounds. Is it getting harder to play these five and six hour games? Actually, today I felt it's getting easier. <laughs> I um, tried to warm up first couple of games, but now I feel more comfortable over the board. And going into the tournament without uh, Anna Zatonska here, we were wondering who was going to challenge Irina Krush. Uh, forgive me for saying this, but not many people were mentioning your name. Um, <laughs> you are the only woman in the field that has a title besides Irina. Uh, do you feel like maybe uh, the waves are going your way so far? Oh, I didn't realize that. I'm the only one uh, besides Irina who held the title. So. Maybe that should give me some confidence. <laughs> but, uh, well, I understand people were not mentioning my name because I haven't been playing chess last couple of years, so that's uh, totally normal. But, um, yeah, I do uh, know how to play a little bit. <laughs> so I'll try my best. <laughs> if I recall, you saved a completely lost position in round one. And in round two, you won a game that probably should have been drawn. So was today a little bit more of a, a proper effort? Definitely. First two games were much harder. Um, I haven't played... Uh, a long time control for a while. You know, I tried to warm up a little bit before the tournament by playing game 25, but obviously that's a different time control. So um, I feel like the first couple of days were really hard, but uh, now I feel like I'm going back to normal shape. And I talked with Alyssa Malakina yesterday. She said she was given the time off of work because the partner in her law firm is actually a chess player. Now, you don't start at Deutsche Bank until this summer. Do you think next year you might have to, uh, you know, find somebody high up at your law firm that plays chess to get permission to play here? <laughs> uh, definitely, I agree. It will be nice to find somebody, although I, I don't think anyone plays chess at Deutsche Bank. They were, though, impressed with my chess resume, um, and I think that's one of the reasons why I got the offer. Um, so uh, I hope that they will let me play in the future. <laughs> and do you still have big career aspirations and goals in chess, or is this more of a vacation for you now? It is hard to say. Obviously, chess is part of my life. I've been playing chess since I'm six years old, and um, um, it's hard to say just a hobby. I really love to play, but um, as you said, I have lots of other things on my plate, so um, um, it's hard to um, play competitive chess once you have a family, kids, and also you have a full-time job, but uh, even once in a while, I think it's good. <laughs> and how is your husband handling life at home with the kids by himself? Um, actually, his mother is helping him, so uh, he's doing fine, and they are all rooting for me. <laughs> well, it takes a village. Good luck the rest going forward in the quest for your second U.S. women's title. I'll try my best. Thank you very much. <laughs>